writing it up. <laughs> Remove your glasses. But, uh, no, you can't do it like that, Naba. No, remove glasses. Pata pata. Remove glasses. Are you ready to start? Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay. Oh. Hi everyone. Welcome to DN Vlogs Live. Hi. <laughs> This is my husband, and if you guys haven't seen him a lot on our channel, it's because why well, are you not on our channel? It's because he's always away, right? I'm always. He's always shuttling back and forth, back and forth. So today we are going to talk about some things that we wish we knew before we got married, and we actually wrote notes. Where's your own note? Oh, okay. Where's your note? So we actually wrote notes so that it we don't forget. While. We have to bring some. I know, I know. But the thing is this, we've been married. Let me quiz him. How long have we been married? Uh, over 16 years now. It's a long time. 16? Is it 16? Yes, yeah, so it's been over 16 years. So we've been married over 16 years. And it has been a long time, long time. But... Whew. I'm not that difficult to live with. Okay. <laughs> no, hey, no comment. I'm not that difficult to live, live with. You guys, you guys love me, so you guys know that I'm not that difficult to live with. And if he says anything, I don't know what he wrote down, and he doesn't know what I wrote down. So we'll start off. Should we start ladies first? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Ladies first. Ladies first. So my first thing that I would like to say that I wish I knew before marriage is that marriage is a partnership. I never knew that. And the reason why I never knew that is the old Niger mentality. The old Niger mentality that, ah, yawo, you got to be all, you know, not that you shouldn't be submissive, but you have to respect, yes, sir, okay, sir. You know, as if your husband is your God, you know, and some people even call their husband my God, my Lord, my whatever. It's up to you. But for me, I believe that marriage is a partnership and it's all about give and take. And it's not about the husband kind of, Taking over like the wife can't even make him. If the guy wife makes noise like this or says something, is you know, is trouble, trouble. I believe that, and I believe you believe that too. Oh yeah, you have to, you have to make your own come. I mean, say, have your own say. Let me mm -hmm. put it that way. Yeah. The way I see it is that I mean, you have to be your own self too, at least. So let me even start. Uh, my first one. <laughs> I'm not looking. This is the in-laws. You know, in-laws get involved oh. in your life, but the level at which some in-laws get involved in your business. So until after marriage, I'm like, oh my God. They are, I don't want to use the word nosy. You know. Are you, you're not talking about my parents, eh? No, no, no. Oh, no, okay, no, good. I, no, good. I, okay, it's not I, talking I, about I, my parents. Did I mention parents? Did I, you mention I didn't parents. mention parents. I didn't mention parents. Now. But some I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying, in general. General. I'm just saying, general. In my own case, I've been lucky, or let me say, lucky. Yeah. You know, my in laws, they are not so much into me. But, you know, sometimes, yes, yeah, some. Let's just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, part two or number two for me. My second thing is children will feed on your emotion. They will suck the life out of you. <laughs> I'm not saying you should not have children. No, I'm not saying you should have children. But just realize that your children, they're going to feed on your emotion. You'll be thinking that they're not watching. But these children will be watching. And then they'll catch you on your words. So there'll be times that you will say something, you forget that you said it. And out of the blue, this children will say, Ah, mommy, didn't you say this? And I, ah, ah, I didn't say it to I didn't say it to that. And they can even quote you at that. So children will feed on your emotion and on your self-being. So watch what you say. Especially if you're going to have kids. Well, my own... I, I like having kids and raising kids. I mean, before marriage, I'm like, Ah, we'll just play along. Just, you know... Take it as it comes, basically, but mm. it is a challenge sometimes. Yeah. Juggling yeah. work, kids, school, you know, it's... I mean, I was ready, but when the reality kind of sink in and I'm like, right, it's right there yeah. in my face, I'm like, whoa. 
It is a challenge. So the next. So my own, the third one for me is that you will become your mother. <laughs> And I'll tell you this, I love my mom, and there are some times that I'll be saying something to my children, and I'll be, I'll feel as if I'm watching myself talking, and I'll be talking like my mother, I'll be like, ah, she will mom, cut she, ah, you know, and that means, you know, you, you, I'll translate it, yeah, but you become your mother, you feel as if your mother lives in you, and you, I don't know if men feel the same way, or if sometimes you feel as if, your father is in you and leading you and the way you are training your kids, you'll be like, oh, but you become your mother. <laughs> yeah, well, it goes both ways. So for my own, the third one is the level of compromise. Oh, yeah. A lot of compromise. Yes. So, some things you just have to, you know, it depends on the personality. Mm. You just have to let go. If you are single and you're like, no, you got to go my way, my way or the only way or something. But, you know, in a marriage, you just have to compromise. Yeah. You just have to, you know, it's a give and take. You just have to like, you know what, let it be. Exactly, exactly. So a lot of compromise, a lot of compromise. Just keep that in your mind. Okay, my fourth thing is you have to learn to put yourself first. And the reason why is that when I when we got married, I always thought that okay, it's okay for me to put myself last. You know that it would be very selfish of me to put myself first. That whenever I have to think about things, I'll first. You remember now at the beginning, mm -hmm. I'll first feed him. I'll be starving. I'll first feed my husband. I'll feed the children. I'll make sure everybody's okay before I now take care of myself. Like whatever is left over in the food, you know. This morning, I'll just take it, pack it, and stuff like that. And I always consider that as me being a good wife. That a good wife is someone that, you know, you put everybody before yourself, up to the detriment of yourself. And I just always, you know, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you, and you'll be saying, Ni you'll be saying, ah, Shola, you will not joke, oh, sit down, eat your food. Ah, you to come and sit down now. Which one is this one? You're always in the kitchen while everybody's sitting, eating. And you're not a house girl, now, be. So learn to put yourself first. In marriage, yes, it is okay to take care of people. I'm not saying you shouldn't take care of people. So please, I'm not saying you shouldn't take care of people, but I'm saying that you have to learn to please, put yourself put, first. Please, take care of yourself. I mean, you two, you're a woman being. I know. It wasn't until I think we are. You have your 10 own life years. to live too. Yeah, I think until we were like nearly 10 years into the marriage that I started thinking, I'm like, ah. Which one is this? I started putting myself first and I gave, I felt more refreshed and it wasn't as if I felt bad about it, but it's the way I was raised and the way I was raised was, ah, take care of your husband, though. take care of your children, though. then take care of yourself, you know, so, but it is good and it is important for you to take care of yourself first because remember, if you don't take care of yourself first, what's going to end up happening is that if something happens to you, the whole house will collapse. If you get sick, like when I get sick, what happens? Everybody's everybody is sick. Everybody is sick. <laughs> Nothing gets done. Uh, let me see. Okay, finances. Oh. Uh, finances, it's up to you how you do your own thing. But in my own case, I like to be open. Mm -hmm. Hey, what you see is what you get. That's important. You know, so, but after marriage, you have to be more open, mm -hmm. you know, more open. You believe you know, in just, separate, like some people say, oh, when you get married, you know, separate accounts and stuff. Some people do it that some way. Some people do it. That's what people, works for some know, people. If it works for you, fine. I don't have any problem with yeah. that. I'm, me, personally, I just like, hey. We like throw, joints. We like joints, mm -hmm. and I'll throw it out there. Yeah. Look, if I'm going to use the old money to drink kai kai. What kai kai? <laughs> 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 At least you know that the money there is no money there. This guy has used it for kai kai. What? Which no, one that. is kai kai now? He doesn't yeah. drink. Or if people start commenting that this man drinks, don't mind him more. The almost will be drink anyway. So, but finances open. No, be just open. Keep it open there. I am a big believer in. It's not like someone accounts. should be hounding you. Mm. Oh, okay. Why did you do it? But at least, yeah. If you want to know? It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. If you have questions, come and ask me. Yeah. You know, that's just one thing about me. Marry, I'm like, ah. you have to be more open now. Mm -hmm. Because you are not more open to all these, then 
it, it brings in all this suspicion. Yeah, suspicion. And, which is know. something you want. Suspicion in marriage can kill marriage because you never, you never trust the person. If you are, if you are suspicious about, oh, is my husband doing something behind my back? Is my wife doing something behind my back? For example, in my, in our marriage, if a guy, if somebody talks to me like. This is how open wear. If I'm like I was pumping the gas the other day and some guy was like, Hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. And he's like, Oh, can I have your number? And I'm like, Oh no. I was like, Oh, I'm married. And he's like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, ah. I, I said, I said, wait a minute. This is how I said it. I told the guy. I said, wait a minute, how old are you? He's like, Oh, how old? I was older than this guy. I'm like, I am married. Ring. Oruka ring, you know, they do, people don't value marriage. So of course, when I got home, I'm like, ah, me see me see trouble, low. These people they won't leave me alone, no, because collagen has made me beautiful. Mm, collagen. <laughs> collagen. But anyway, so I'm open that way. I don't, it, I don't suspect my husband of anything. It's not that I'm being stupid, though, because some people say, ah, you have to put be in shine your eyes well, well. Yeah, I know there's there's temptation. I know there's temptation, but you still have to be open to know who you are married to and what and what could happen. And pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next my one turn now. Okay. It's my turn. You want to okay. Don't chance me. Oh, it's my turn. So my last and final one, and this is one of the most important one to me, is something I didn't know about married. I thought that when you get married, Pium, you have kids. Pium, everything, everything is fine. You have kids, everything is fine, whatever, whatever. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. And you have to prepare yourself for times that things don't go that way. Nobody told me. <laughs> I didn't know. But you have to understand that when you get married, ups and downs will happen in terms of having children, in terms of raising children. And you and your spouse, you have to be a joint force. Be very careful about letting other people come in to advise you, to influence you. But know that you guys are a joint force. That's something I didn't know, you know. Um, having kids is not always, <laughs> you get married, boom, you get pregnant, boom, you know. So that's my last and final one. Mine is kids. I know they're expensive, but I didn't know they're this expensive. <laughs> You know, uh, so oh, I can't come out from school. Remember, they come out from school. What do they do? Remember when they come out from school? I have a note. I have I mean, something for you to sign. It's always something. <laughs> like what is this? From thing? ten to twenty dollars. Like oh, I have something for you to sign. It's ten dollars. Be like okay, ten dollars. Go and get money. I have something for you to sign. Five dollar. I have to buy this. It's expensive. No, only it's that. Expensive. And it's I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the way it is in Nigeria too. I don't know. You I don't know, know if other people, place. You guys comment below. Let us yeah, know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let us you know. know. Mm. People who have kids in private schools in Nigeria. I mean, private schools are not cheap anyway. Mm. Private schools are not cheap, but here. Even public school, there's always something. There's always something. There's always something. Not only there's talking about school, also other it's things. You generally, know, other things generally, but still, and from after school program mm, to kids to, to tournaments sports, to, to all this stuff, but that is why I say I want just two children, and that's it. I know how much I can handle. Boom, I come up follow more. I'll come up uh, two children. People, look, I am CC. Eh? He wants to mess up my figure. You want to mess up my figure? Ah, don't mess up my anyway. I'm just kidding. We thank God. We thank God for everything. Um, that's the end of our video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for him or you have questions for me, comment below. Let us know if you've not yet subscribed and you have not thought about subscribing. After watching so many of our videos, what are you waiting for? What do you want them to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. See it, Belu Agbara. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. We like. 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 And uh, what's it going on? It's Thumbs like up. share, share, and share, share. So thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having him on the channel, and I always have him once in a while. He will show up at my door. I'll be like, ah, okurin yitu today. Ah, the kaiju joy fair.
Can I wear my glasses now? Let me <laughs> no, you can't wear your glasses now. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so we'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, um, much better. I know, you look cute, eh? <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed and watch the next video coming up right over there. Right over there. Right. Have you clicked it? Have you subscribed? I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, are we done? Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. Are, we are going to cook. Ah, okay. we, are, we are starving now. Oh, I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook. Hungry.